Libyan government and rebel forces continue to treat threats over the loading of crude from North Korea flag tanker amid a standoff between the two sides at a port in eastern Libya. Arirang News Kim ji reports. Libyan authorities have dispatched a force to a port held by armed protesters to stop a North Korean flag tanker from leaving with crude sold without government permission. Culture Minister Haiv al Amin said Sunday that the force consists of qualified naval officers and revolutionaries, or former rebels now being paid by the government, and adds that it has the authorization to strike the tanker with force if it does not comply. Orders were given and all efforts are being undertaken to stop and seize the tanker, if necessary by a strike, if it does not follow orders. The 37,000-ton Morning Glory was docked at the terminal of Estidere, which is one of the three ports seized by rebels, which is being used to press state authorities for a bigger share of oil revenues. A local daily says the ship has been loaded with 36 million U.S. dollars of crude. Over the weekend, Prime Minister Ali Zidane said the military would bomb the Morning Glory if it tried to leave the port. The captain of the North Korean flagged oil tanker responded that local militia on board did not allow them to depart. The rebels say any attack on the tanker would be a declaration of war. The incident illustrates the deepening turmoil in the OPEC producer, which has failed to rein in fighters who helped oust Muammar Gaddafi in 2011. Kim Jian, Arirang News.